Funerals are a good occasion to settle certain debts. In Tana Toraya, a gift received now is seen as a debt that must be paid back later. The gifts the deceased's family receives will have to be repaid in the future by attending other funerals for years to come. Once the guests have been shown to their places, one of the highlights will begin, the buffalo fight. The Turaja people are proud to test the bravery of the buffaloes and demonstrate that the deceased will be accompanied to heaven by such powerful and courageous animals. A group of men dressed in black sarongs form a circle, dancing and singing the Mabadong, a morning dance with a double purpose, prayer and entertainment. In this dance only men participate, and they make slow circular movements, the circle of life, linking their little fingers so there is a connection between all of them. The second day of the funeral is coming to an end. Mayana's family is very happy with the gifts they have received and it is time to repay the guests for their generosity. The young women hand out honey cakes, tea, coffee, rice and palm wine. The third day is the most important. A lot of buffalo have to be sacrificed if you are to live happily and be respected in paradise. The souls of the dead can only go to Puya when the death ritual is completed. The status of a spirit in the world beyond is the same as that of the person in this life, and so the souls of his animals must follow him into the other life. With this sacrifice, the deceased will be accompanied to heaven by the souls of buffaloes and pigs. The journey to Puya requires strong animals because it is difficult and mountains and valleys must be crossed. Buffalo has traditionally been the symbol of wealth and power, used even to pay for land. But the fact that so many are sacrificed in honor of the dead, in order to impress the living, has led the Indonesian government to impose limits and taxes for each animal sacrificed, as these ostentatious ceremonies end up by ruining the families. The tensest moment in any celebration is the sharing out of the meat 
and there are always disputes and even fights. What each guest receives depends on many factors. For example, if they are owed a debt, they will receive a good portion as part of the payment. Noble families that are descended directly from heaven have the right to the head, the most highly prized part, and the children receive the legs. On the last day in the village of Kete, the atmosphere is completely different from the revelry of the first days. After three intense days of celebration, the pain and tiredness begin to show in the faces of the closest relatives. The men continue dancing the Mabadong, while the women kneeling before the coffin shed their last tears, moved by the song sung by the children. The funeral is drawing to an end, and in just a few hours, Mayana will rest in peace, along with his ancestors in the sacred rocks of Rantepao. An hour later, Mayana is taken on his final journey across the rice fields. At the same time, in the neighboring village of Rumki, Another family is also preparing to transport a dead man to the sacred rocks. Though at first the procession tries to keep up appearances and maintain their composure as protocol demands in these cases, little by little the atmosphere heats up and what was meant to be a walk of sorrow and contemplation turns into a mad dash, both families trying to see who is capable of guiding the coffin across the rice fields. The dead man is no longer the center of attention as a real pitched battle of water and mud is unleashed. Astonishingly, from what we saw just a moment ago, Mayana's family has managed to make the journey without too much uproar, and in less than two hours has reached the sacred rocks. Right at the foot of the niche, the officiating priest says the final farewell to the dead man, reading a few paragraphs from the Bible. The majority of the Toraya are Christians, though, like the Bajau, they combine their new religion with animist beliefs based on a large, complicated mythology that divides all of creation into three worlds, each one with its own god. Mayana has come to the end of his journey. After the celebration to pay their respects to him, he must surely be grateful and satisfied. 
The family, for its part, has reinforced its honor and status, strengthening bonds and demonstrating its wealth and generosity. The coffin has been placed inside the rock, along with his most beloved belongings. Then they seal forever the door to his new home. And that is a funeral in the highlands of Sulawesi, the island in the shape of an orchid. <laughs>